Let's go! Hi, I'm Breen. I'm the Director of Curriculum at Codable. This short video is going to introduce you to the concept you'll be teaching in this unit. Thanks for watching! People are smarter than computers. We decide what actions we want a computer to carry out, and then we communicate with the computer in a language that it understands in order to complete a desired task. We call this language code, and we instruct the computer using specific commands. Sequence, the order that commands are executed by the computer, allows us to carry out tasks that have multiple steps. We can relate sequence to our everyday lives. If we wanted to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, for example, we would need to follow multiple steps in a logical order. We would begin by gathering our ingredients, getting a knife, spreading the peanut butter, spreading the jelly, and so forth. If we wanted a robot to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for us, we would need to make sure we gave the robot instructions in the correct order. If we didn't do this, we could potentially miss a step, have a missing ingredient, or end up with an inside out peanut butter and jelly sandwich. In programming, computers can only carry out tasks that are in the correct order. Computers are machines, and they have to do things the way they were built to do them. In the on-screen independent practice lessons for sequence, the fuzz needs to be given instructions in the correct sequence to get through the maze. Using arrows as commands, we need to give the fuzz instructions in the correct sequence, or the fuzz will hit the wall of the maze. Computers read in a certain order similar to a typewriter which can only go left to right and top to bottom. A computer has to read code in order. If the sequence of the commands is incorrect, the computer won't be able to follow the instructions. In both programming and day-to-day -day tasks, if we don't put every step in the right order, the end result isn't what we tried for. Sequence is the most foundational concept in programming, and everything we learn moving forward will build on this concept.